for all the saints who from their labors rest, who you by faith be for the world confess your name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pause to call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew, Kim, Tygon, and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? Is there, if there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against the God that raised Christ, whom he did not raise if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. The Lord, Lord, when your glory, glory appears, appears, my, my joy, joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. <coughs> Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior, of those who flee from their foes to refuge of your right hand. Lord, Lord, Lord when your glory, glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. But I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, Lord when, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. <laughs> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. 
Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, who from whom seven demons had gone out, Johanna, the wife of Herod's steward Chusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, two things today. First, the, the feast day that we are celebrating, and secondly, the, the role that prominent women played in Jesus' ministry. It seems that uh, traveling with him were a group of women who had resources, meaning that they were independently wealthy and could provide financially for their ministry and probably assisted them in many other things too, uh, providing for them as they went along their journey. And we ask that, uh, and the and an interesting thing is that here they were, some of uh, unspoken, unsung heroes of the church in some ways, um, much like this feast that we celebrate today, the martyrs of uh, Korea. Now, the martyrs of Korea that we celebrate are really later in the whole uh, history of the church. The church in Korea, for more than a hundred years, had no priests. It was completely a lay experience. Lay people were converted, others were converted, and by the time that these martyrs are being celebrated as the first uh, ordained Korean priests and others who with him, mostly all lay people, men and women and children. But before that, and together, over 10,000 Catholics, Christians, were martyred in Korea, even before they had a priest. So they were a church that was completely founded and run by the laity without any priests. And each time they did get a priest, they were martyred within a couple of years. So finally, after all those years, and now the church in Korea is just huge and very faithful, very strong practicing of their faith, very devout. And they are now sending out priests to other places, especially supporting the North Koreans who still live under the same kind of persecution that the all of Korea had, a closure to all outside influences, to all outside thought, and therefore Christianity was considered an outside thought, not something that comes from the Korean culture, and yet it found its fertile ground in the blood of the martyrs who gave their lives in order to maintain their faith. We ask the Lord to help us to be faithful, especially to strengthen the laity of the church as there become fewer and fewer priests in, in our country and in other Western countries that the laity assume even greater responsibilities for the evangelization and the sustenance of the church. Let us stand to pray. Calling to mind our needs, let us offer our prayers to our merciful Father with one voice. For the church and her missionary zeal, may God continue to kindle the flame of this holy work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all who hold positions of power in our world, may God grant them the fortitude to always seek the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all who live in poverty, may God in his mercy provide for their needs and grant them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for this faith community, may God inspire our efforts to share the good news of the gospel with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, 
May they join the saints at the wedding feast of the Lamb, most especially for John Osiak being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For what else shall we pray? For Tom and I, on this our 56th wedding anniversary, that the Lord continue to bless us and pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayr. For peace to come to Ukraine, Gaza, Israel, our own towns and cities, to stop the violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. For all of those in need of healing, whether it be mind, spirit, or body, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Eternal Father, all goodness comes from you. Look with kindness upon the prayers we bring before you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God. God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs of Korea, Grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very suffering are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Jesus our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly <coughs> into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially John, remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With one heart and one voice we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body and blood of Christ. Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant, as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We'll sing the last verse of our hymn. From earth's wide bounds, from ocean's farthest coast, through gates of heaven streams in the countless host. See